In order to set up the gallery and swatches section, first we need to select product. So I'll go to yoga top and click the solid wrap strap vest yoga bra. Now that this is selected, I will scroll down with this left bar to theme settings and then scroll down again until I see gallery and swatches. Be sure to add a product variant block on your product content. All right, so this is the gallery and swatches section. This whole area is called the product variant. We have our gallery images on the left and we have our swatches right here. So let's start in the settings. First here it says show selected variance image. I'll show you what that does. So right here when I click on this first item, it sends us right to the yellow bra. And if I click here, it shows us to the white bra. The yellow bra is down here. So when I click it, it selects that image there. So what the show selected variance image does is it allows us to move to that gallery image when we click that item on the swatch. So if I deselect it, when I click any item on the swatch, it doesn't move. I have to manually move it. Not a bad thing, but it's a cool feature that I think will allow users or people who come to buy something from your store to be able to see it quickly at a glance. So I will turn the swatches back on. Cool. So now if I click, it goes to yellow. And if I click again, it goes to white. And if you go into your settings, you could you know, add all these different colors as well so they can click and flip through them at a glance. All right, so now we have our pre-select swatch settings. So what does that mean? So we have none, first option, and custom. So dealing with the swatches means we're dealing with this section, right? So first we can go to first option. And first option highlights the first option. If I go to none, it doesn't highlight any of the swatches. So I have to actually, I could, they still work. I could still click them and they still work, but it doesn't by default um, highlight any for me to be able to select at the start. So just a small accessibility thing, um, but if we leave it at first option, it highlights the first option. Doesn't actually show you to that image, you still have to click it, but it just highlights that first option. If we go to custom list, right, we could click custom list, and then in here we could add a custom uh, item that we wanna select or option that we want selected, so that way that swatch goes first. So we could put in a custom name, right when this is selected. And if we have multiple, we can put commas in between. That's what it's saying right here. Separate them by commas. And then it will highlight those squat and it will highlight those and it will highlight those swatches. But I'm gonna leave mine at first option for now. So now we head to the color section here. And here we can add our color option names. The default is color, right? And that allows us to be able to see these color options inside the swatches, right? So if we say color, color, we'll see these. We can also get rid of these and just see the names and we could click and I'll still carry us to those different images, right? Yellow and then white. Or we can add any custom option that we want. But for right now, I'm gonna leave mine at color, color, the default. For the custom color codes, I could also set a custom color code using hex code values, right? So I have the name, colon, hex code values. I'll zoom in so you can see, right? So the name, a colon, and then the hex code value. And if there's multiple different color options, I will put a comma afterwards, right? So if I was saying red and then I was saying blue, um, let's say I gave it the, sec the same hex code value. I would separate it with a comma, you see? But since we only need this red, or we're not really needing it because we're using the default, I could remove this, and I could also remove the red. It wouldn't affect it. Remember, though, 
that the custom color codes, they only apply if there is no image attached to the product variant. We also have the custom swatch image format here. So we can choose what kind of image types it will accept. So we can say a JPEG or a PNG or a, JP, a JPEG as well. So we have all of these options that we can choose, right? So it's just saying, okay, when we're going to be putting in these images, what image format do we want? So we can just choose any of these different ones. Generally, I leave mine at G, JPG, which is the same as JPEG. And this is a look into the gallery and swatches section. Thank you for watching this video. Please refer to our help center for more information.